the text equation has a typo in it. It says write and equation. Uh, it's supposed to be write and equation of the line, so this is supposed to be and. Uh, and what's nice about that is it, it it indicates that there's a lot of different equations um, that are parallel to the uh, line that contains these two points, right? So we've got two points. Um, I guess what's that line? And then give the equation of a line that would be parallel uh, to that line. So let's look at this line first, right? So there's two points here. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and calculate the slope of that line. Uh, the slope of any line is the change in the y values divided by the change in the x values. So if I look at this for this particular line, um, I've got x, I've got y values at uh, negative 6 and 8, and I have x values at 12 and positive 6. So I'm going to go ahead and write that uh, as follows. I'm going to take negative 6 minus an 8. So that's how my y is changed. And you can see I'm going from the second point to the first. So I have negative 6 minus 8. And then my change in x, uh, x ends up at 12, and it started at 6. So 12 minus 6 is the change in x. If I simplify that, uh, negative 6 minus uh, negative 8 is negative 14. And 12 minus 6 is 6. So my slope is down 14 over 6. And I can also simplify that further. I can write it as negative 7 thirds. So this is the slope of the line that goes through these two points. Uh, just to be complete, I'm going to find the y-intercept um, of, of that uh, of this of this line, and then I can write the full equation of this line. So the y-intercept um, I can find by considering the equation of any line, right? Y equals mx plus b. This is a generic line, and I can plug in the x uh, and the y values from either one of my points. I'm going to use the first point. In my first point, uh, y is eight, so I'll write eight equals. And my slope was negative 7 thirds. And I'm going to multiply that by a value of x. And you can see x is 6. It's right there. Uh, and then plus b. So this is a nice equation. The only variable I have there is b. And when I solve for b, I'll know what my y-intercept is. Um, let's see. Uh, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 2 times negative 7 would be negative 14. So I've got 8 equals negative 14 plus b. And then I'm just going to add 14 to each side. And when I do that, I get that 22 is what b is. Whoops. Now that I know that uh, b is 22, uh, my y-intercept is 22, and I also know that my slope was 7 thirds, I can write the equation of this line, not my answer, but a line containing these points. So let's see, y equals negative 7 thirds x and then plus 22. So if I'm trying to find a line that's parallel to this line, I could give you, a, there's, there's, you know, there's an infinite number of them. The only thing is I should not give this exact line, right? I shouldn't say plus 22. So an appropriate answer would be something like uh, f of x, uh, if I'm using function notation, equals negative 7 thirds times x, and I could say plus 10. And if I don't like that, I could say, you know, plus 14, or if I don't like that, I could say uh, plus negative 5 or just minus 5, right? The point is, is that as long as I pick a different y-intercept from the y-intercept that this point has, um, I have a line that is parallel uh, to the given line, the line that went through those two original points. So I guess I'll leave my answer right there. Y equal, f of x equals negative 7 thirds x minus 5. Again, this can be any uh, number that you want except for 22.